to Joann's to take a little tour and to look for one more thing for my St. Patrick's Day decorations. And I head on in here. And of course, they had music playing, so I'm not even going to try. And I'm going to head right on into my voiceover. Walked in and kind of scanned around, give you kind of an all over look. I was looking for one more picture to put up on the crates outside, and I end up finding it, not right here, but you can still see they have plenty of St. Patrick's Day things. I have seen some Joann's that are a lot bigger than this and have a lot more decor. Although they've gotten better as of late and they've redone a few things, but they don't have nearly the decor like say even Michael's and certainly not Hobby Lobby. So see the flowers there. I'm like, no, nope, don't need any flowers. I'm so one-sided when I go in sometimes. I'm thinking, no, I need something for my front porch. And that's it, and I need to find it right now. So I wasn't finding it quite yet. I was trying to fit the cart through there. <laughs> I managed, finally. And of course, they have their Easter stuff out, and they have all their spring stuff out. I had to go around those people and that lady coming because nobody watches where they're going and, you know, so I went around them. And then I eye what I'm looking for, finally. That picture down there. Everything's 50% off, which I'm always happy to see. And I went ahead and picked up the Happy St. Patrick's Day really $10 and that's exactly what I was looking for exactly the size so I plopped that right down into my cart and I continued on down the spring aisle spring is one of my favorite times of the year so I thought all of this stuff was so pretty and I do linger here a bit <laughs> I didn't purchase anything tea towels, tablecloths, and the spring department kind of moves right on into the Easter department. They had some very pretty Eastery things, tea towels and ribbon, little bunnies, packets of eggs and egg wreaths. I didn't even look at the prices on those wreaths. More of those bunnies. They're everywhere this year. That must be the big thing. 40% off. I was pretty impressed that everything was 40% off already for Easter. I'm hoping I find that in Hobby Lobby tomorrow. I do really like this little green bunny. Thinking he'd be really pretty in my living room or dining room. And, yeah. He's, he's, makes his way right into my basket. <laughs> That's some cute stuff. Not a lot of it, but what they do have is, is really quite nice. I thought these were pretty too. They were canvas pictures. And I thought that would look really pretty on my cozy corner in my family room on that big ladder I have in there. I thought that would look really nice. But I end up putting it back down. Always trying to be frugal. Even though it would look nice there, doesn't mean I need to pick it up and buy it. <laughs> so I end up putting it back down. I'm entering the lawn and garden aisle here. Got a lot of wind chimes. Everything's 50% off, as you can see. Little things to sit in your garden. I love little birds. Okay. 
No bunnies hugging one another, or frogs, dogs, and pineapples. And birdhouses. I love me some birdhouses. I would use them on my wreaths, though. I just know one of these days I'm going to get really lucky and have a bird build a nest in the birdhouse. I didn't end up picking up one, though. From now on, I kind of just take you on a little tour of the store just to show you the merchandise that they have in it. Here's their candle aisle and wax melt aisle. Smelled good in this aisle. And look, there's some lanterns, just what I don't need. <laughs> but of course I have to stop and look at them because I just can't get enough of lanterns. I don't buy any. Here's their sewing section. I do think that they still teach sewing classes in this Joann's. It's kind of all the t-shirts we used to buy to put that puff paint on <laughs> back in the 80s and 90s. I thought these were adorable. Little Disney princess things. We could never find those when my kids were little. I could never find anything like that. We finally got a Disney store here. Oh, I guess in the mid 90s, mid to late 90s, and I was thrilled. But before then, when you want to have, when your kids are really little, my kids were both born in the 80s, and you know, had to pretty much go to Disney World to get them Disney stuff. So anyway, now you see it everywhere, which is good for my kids' kids, if they ever have children. Obviously, this is the ribbon aisle. don't really need any ribbon as you all saw <laughs> so of course I look and look at it you know we come into some pens I really love different color pens and pens that really nice I'm always on the lookout for nice pens this is the scrapbooking area they have a very very nice scrapbooking area lots of stickers and different papers and different packs of papers and die cut machines and die cut, just individual die cuts. It is a very nice scrapbooking section. And then I eye these stamps. I really don't use stamps for that much. When I do write thank you notes though, I will. I like to have a stamp on the envelope on the front of the back. And that little saying there, I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck, as some of you probably already know, is very, very special to me and my lady cousins. Our grandma always used to hug us and kiss us on the cheek really fast and say, I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. So anytime any of us see something like that, we grab it up and that stamp was in my cart at that point. <laughs> I knew I could not pass that off, and it was 30% off, so I was pretty happy about that. So here I'm scanning the stamps. Not that I need another one, but I think that's a nice little touch to put on a thank you note or on a just because note, you know, just to put a little stamp on it. Coming up here on some burlap. Remember I said I couldn't find the, the kind of five and a half inch by 15 feet burlap online in different colors. Well, look here. I found me some in a really pretty burgundy color. Now, can you guys picture a cream burlap wreath with that burgundy accent color? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. That will be a future wreath of mine. I'm not sure when I'll do it or where I'll put it, but I picked up that burlap. <laughs> 
because I knew I would use that for a big beautiful bow. So I kind of just go through the flower section here and that's it. I start heading to the register here in just a second. And that's about all there is to our Joann's. There's another pretty lantern there. It takes us a while to get to this Joann's. It's way across town. It probably takes me about 40 minutes to get over there. So I don't venture over there too, too often. Hobby Lobby is closer to us. Although I'm pleasantly surprised when I go in here because I do see some very pretty things. But anyway, that is just about all I got from Joann's. On we go to our little tour of And That and that little haul. I'll insert a picture right here of what I did pick up from Joann's. There's everything lined up on my kitchen island. And here's the coupon that I used, 20% off regular and sale priced items. I still spent $27 though. My next stop was into our and that store, the store that I've been very, very impressed with as of late. And I went into that store to purchase something very specific that Chris had seen in there and that I really wanted to pick up because it was not very expensive. And that was a couch cover right there you go, couch coat. And I'll show you that when I show you the haul when I get all this stuff home. And I do zip around and pick up a few more things that I'll show you closer here in a few minutes, but I'll take you through the store here a little bit at a quicker pace. It's because we don't need to be sitting here for 500 hours as I chatter along. You can kind of see what I'm picking up here. <laughs> But let's head on to my explanation of my haul. Back in my kitchen, in my Hi house. Everyone, Arlen here. Well, just uh, got back from and that, or the Christmas shop, as some of you might know it. And I just wanted to show you the little haul that I picked up from there. First thing is this couch coat. That's why I went in and I ended up with all this other stuff. But it was only $19.88 as seen on TV. Where's that? There it is. As seen on TV. The noofs are tearing up my couch over here. Not really tearing it up, but they're making little marks when their nails, when they climb up onto the couch. They don't have to jump up. They just climb up. So, I'll tell you the truth, we're gonna ch check this out. Neither of them, neither one of them will get up on it right yet because they're freaked out because it's something new. I think they'll get over themselves. But I have to tell you one thing that Chris did, he, he brought in a, like a stick and stuck it down in the crook of the couch there because it kept wanting to come out. And we know with their weight, when they get up, they would certainly pull it out of there. So we're hoping that that stick helps to keep everything in place. And we also, Chris again, and his engineering skills, took three clips and attached them to the back and then took some string and pulled everything taut and then tied it underneath to the uh, rack underneath the couch. These are recliners. So, but nobody ever sits on the couch when we don't have company. So it's just the dogs who take their turns, the two noofs. So for $19, we'll see if this works and it helps to save the couch for a little bit longer. So that's why I went in to and that. And I ended up picking up all of this stuff because I turned around and saw the that these were only a dollar. How much how cute. Little eggs. So I could use those on a wreath. Got two packs of those on a wreath or in an arrangement, or just out in the uh, wagon, out on the front porch, any number of places. 
I got two packages of eggs and a package of bunnies. I thought they were really cute. For a dollar a piece. And then I found a little tablecloth for my dining room table. Spring bouquet. And it's 60 by 102 inches oblong, which is this, which is how long I need it for that table. For $7.99. That wasn't too bad at all for a tablecloth that's 102 inches long. So we'll see how that looks when I go to decorate for Easter. And then for my sideboard out there, I got this little table runner. Isn't this cute? Oh my goodness, with the little flowers, applique flowers and eggs. So on either end. And that same green color that I love so much in there. This was $10.99. Not bad for a table runner. The prices in there are great. And the rest of this I bought with my wagon outside in mind because I do have some decorations for inside. So my vinyl tablecloth works so well as you guys saw with the St. Patrick's Day decorations. I thought I would try another one for Easter. So for $2.99, it's a vinyl, actually, tablecloth. And then I got this <laughs> Happy Easter with the little bunny butt. I thought it would be cute in the easel out there or up on top of my crates. And then I just bought a couple of bunches of lilies. And these were $2.99. Piece, and I will put them in the wagon too. And then, since I've been wearing my hair up a little bit, we needed a couple more clips, so I got those. All told, I spent $64.34 for all of that. Not too bad, right? All right. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nobody's going to get on the couch. Sam, get up on the couch, fluffy bud. Sam. Sam. <laughs> oh, I'm going to ignore you, Mom. What are you doing, bud? Sam. Did you get up on the couch? Finally? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy.